Hi, I'm Brad with BigFamilyHomestead.com and in today's video, I actually need your help. You see, I've got a problem. There's a consternation, there's a tremor in the force in our family and that is this. I have a blind chick and I don't know what to do. I've got the blind chick blues and I don't know what to do. You see, the chick is blind, at least in one eye. Now the kids want to keep it as a pet, but I'm no vet. So I'm asking of you, what would you do? Cause I got the blind. Blind Chick Blues. So yes, it is true. I have the Blind Chick Blues. Well, okay, so here's what happened. We basically, a couple days ago, and this is where I need your help because we truly do need some advice. We don't know what to do. I'm gonna lay all this stuff out and please comment, maybe shoot a video response back. Let me know what you would do and, and hopefully that will help us make a decision that's good for our family and the chicken and everybody. Bibbidi bobbidi boo. So here's what happened. Basically, we got a couple, uh, you know, 25 meat birds. Now these these chickens are designed to get really big, really fast. Six to eight weeks, and they're done. So they go from teeny weeny weeny to really really big, real fast. So we bought 25 of these birds, and last night we noticed that there was one that was kind of a runt, and I'm going to show you. It's so cute, uh, anyway, so cute. But anyway, I'm gonna show you some pictures as I'm talking. So we, we found one that was kind of a runt and it, it was getting picked on. It was literally the whole chicken pecking order thing. It's real, it's not just a phrase that's tossed about, but it was getting picked on and it was literally about half the size of the other ones. And we were noticing, holy smokes, there's something wrong with this chicken. And upon closer inspection, we realized that this chicken was blind at least in one eye, and it wasn't making its way over to the food, and it wasn't making its way over to the water. So being the kind-hearted homesteading folk that we are, we wanted to make sure that this thing was being cared for. So we started to, to take care of it separately. We, we brought it to its own little pen, you know, little bucket thing, and we, we put it next to our, our wood-burning stove and monitored the temperature, make sure that the temperature in the box was nice and, and warm for it, was the right temperature. And uh, we, we started basically with a, with a kind of an eyedropper, we, we started feeding it by hand with some water that we mixed with honey. Now, we just figured that that would be good positive sugars, and, and it's responding very well. Now, um, the interesting thing though is, is it, it really did not want to be alone. So we actually brought another one of the birds in, even though it wasn't having any issue at all, uh, but just so that that wasn't lonely. Now, here is the problem. Okay, this is a meat chicken. It's designed to get big and be slaughtered, and that's why we bought it. Now, the problem is this. It's blind in one eye, maybe two, so it's never gonna probably make it with the rest of the flock, okay? Now, family, kids, trying to be a good dad, you know, looking out for everybody, and, and we started hand feeding this thing, and what has happened is the kids now wanna keep it as a pet. Hmm, okay, not opposed to having a pet. Here's my conundrum. This thing's a meat bird. It's gonna get huge unless we figure out some kind of way to limit its diet so that it doesn't get massive because then it, it will have problems with its legs if it's get, getting too big. So then A, I don't, I don't have money to take it to a vet. Um, B, I don't want it to be in any kind of pain. But now the problem is the kids wanna keep it as a pet. Okay, so there's the first chunk of the scenario. Here's this cute little chick and um, this is not the eye that is that is the offending eye. Let's see if I can turn it around. Yeah, you see, it's all milky. It's 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 got trouble there. So we're trying to figure out what is the best thing for the chick, the family, everybody, and we need your opinion. So there you go, cute little peeper. 
Where we live, we're allowed to have a small amount of chickens. No roosters. Now here's the thing. When we bought these meat birds, they were straight run, meaning they could be males or females, and we really don't know, and we won't know until they start getting bigger. So this adds to the whole complexity of what to do with the chick, because what if it's a rooster? Well, then that makes our decision real easy in that it's gotta go, except what if we decide that it's a pet? <laughs> hmm, I can't take it to get decluckified if that's even a real thing in the vet world, because we can't afford it. So I need your help. What would you do? I mean, I, I'm trying to be good dad, trying to take care of the chick, trying to do what's right by everybody. And I really honestly just want some advice. I want an opinion. What would you do? There it is. So the floor is open. I need your help. We're trying to figure out what to do, balancing out, you know, what is right for the chicken, what is right for us, what is right for the family, trying to figure all those things out and keeping in mind that we are, uh, yeah, dirt poor. So veterinarian kind of stuff is really out the window. Um, so please leave comments. I'm interested to find out what you would do in our particular situation and maybe you can help us make a choice that's good for everybody. Once again, I'm Brad with BigFamilyHomestead.com. Please don't forget to click like and subscribe. Pass this on. We need some help, folks. Amen? All right. You have yourself an amazing day.